And I'm not sure that y your character and him are ever, ever going to see eye to eye yeah, again. Yeah, at the minute, it's a, it, we're a real kind of prideful family. And um, what he's done at the minute is very unforgivable. Well, and also more than that, because Aidan's blaming him for the death of his oh, mum. Massively. You know, if, if it wasn't, it's the what ifs, you know, mm. if, um, if my mum wouldn't have found out that day um, that he cheated on her. You know, well, then, because what happened was that he, she found out that he cheated, she ran she outside, ran out, and then and she run. was run over by, yeah. by a car. Yeah, so um, he's carried that guilt for a long time. Mm. And also, uh, Kate has always seen him as her hero, hasn't Absolutely. she? Absolutely. <clears throat> They've got a relationship like no other, and this has just broken her. She doesn't know what to do. And at the same time, all she wants is kind of the family to be one again. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but, uh, the, the, where to go from there? The only good thing that sort of, <clears throat> if there really is a good thing to come out of this, is that her and Carla, their relationship has become so, so tight. Absolutely. I think Kate always wanted a big sister because yeah. she never had a mum around. Mm. She sort of idolised her cousins, you know, like the likes of Michelle and Carla yeah. were the ones that brought her up. So it's a really nice relationship that's forming now. How much can you tell us? Where does it go from here? Um, well, it is revealed, obviously, that me and my dad are not going to speak for quite some time. Um, but he's not going to stop trying, you know, because he wants us, like, like uh, Faye was saying, for us to come back as a unit, because we mm. are a strong family. Um, but at the minute, yeah, it's not, looking, it's not looking good at the minute. But the good thing is, is the relationship with Carla because we always yeah. felt like she was like a sister. Yeah. So we're definitely going to get, you know, really, really close. And um, a lot more drama that's going to happen in the factory. Yeah. So how has this all been? I mean, babe, for you coming into this... <laughs> I mean, you had a huge career right, I'm beaming. Because, <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. you look so happy. But, I mean, you had a huge career in the West End, and that was all going incredibly well. And lots of people go, oh, I want to change. I want to change it up a bit. I want to turn it on its head. I want to go and be in a soap. Not many people get that opportunity. And yet you've done it, and you seem to have settled in so beautifully. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you just love it? Is it... Absolutely. Um, I've really waited for the right part and Kate Connor came along and I just sort of went into it, you know, full on, gave everything that I got to that audition and to come into a family that's so strong, like the Connors, yeah. is even more kind of like humbling and just, I'm enjoying every single moment, not wasting a second. Yeah. Well, it's the same question for you, really, Shane, isn't it? Because you've done really well in the West End as well. Yeah. You know, those are very, very successful shows. Yeah. Um, so it takes a, it's a step of bravery to, to walk out of that and into something new. Yeah, because you are instantly pigeonholed. You know, I've gone from um, the music scene into the actor scene and this is my very first TV role, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I was thrown straight into the deep end with it. Mm. Um, but it was great just having Faye come into it and having Richard Hawley plays our dad, Johnny, yeah. because it rounded my character so much quicker and gave me so much more confidence. And one thing that I really like about being part of Corrie is they're always willing to help me. You know, if, I, if I've got a question, if I'm stuck on the line of how to like, deliver it, they will help me. And this is, this is helping my confidence so, so much. So when, when you would... The, the music, you yeah. know, so, which we've sat here and talked yeah, about in the, in the past. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the <laughs> acting thing in your head, then? It's always been there. You know, because I always wanted to do tough roles. I always wanted to do, like, a prison, uh, um, army, gangs, that type of thing. And at the minute, I mean, Aidan's quite angry, so... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what they heard. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I, and it's, it's a really cool character to play, so I'm really happy with it. Do you know what's good as well? Because, obviously, there's your partner, you've got some of the Connors who have been in there in the past, but now that the family's growing and there's lots of you, it feels like they're trying to establish them as sort of, you know, like the Platts or the Barlows, yes. like a real Corrie family that mm. will be it's around very for, believable, a, for a long family. time. Yeah. yeah. I think Kim was saying that to us when she's so happy that we're all there now because she was sort of on her own for a while. Having the flag for the yeah. By yeah. Herself, yeah. So now we'll come in full force. So who, <laughs> who do you... Cause I know that you're both and your families are massive Corrie Huge. fans. Oh, so God. when you were watching it, who were your iconic families? Really hard. Yeah, you like the, like the McDonald's. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, I remember. And uh, I can't believe we get to work with Beverly Callard now. I just yeah. think it's amazing. Batters She's just. Yeah. You know, yeah, but there are so there many. There's there 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 so many. Is it weird people. walking around the canteen? It is, yeah. I mean, she actually knows Bill Roach, <laughs> and but it's crazy when he walks in. I always get this little. I actually remember walking past him, and he was like, "How's it going?" <laughs> I said, "It's going great, yeah." I said, um, "I find." I said, "Yeah, you know." Been here now for what three months. He went try fifty odd years. That's yeah. great. <laughs> and then I remember walking past Barbara Knox, and I don't know why, but nervously I bit my lip. Oh yeah, I remember <laughs> that. Yeah. He just got nervous talking oh, to her. I, I did say a lot. <laughs> <laughs> 
everyone's been rude. Everyone's so lovely. Everyone's <laughs> been so welcoming to us, and we're just kind of enjoying it, yeah. aren't we? We are loving being the Connor family massively. Well, the NTAs is a big night for all the soaps, <laughs> obviously, best soap you're up for that. But you in particular, you're up <laughs> for your individual award. How I are you know. feeling about that? I I'm really nervous. I'm excited. I remember the last chat that we had, and you were saying, hey, you never know, you know? Best newcomer, you know, Absolutely. get a nomination. I think, first of all, to be on screen for three and a half months and have the curry bosses put me forward for it was just mind boggling. Mm -hmm. And then that was a long list. Now I've made the short list. I'm not going to lie, I really want to win it. <laughs> Absolutely quite right. And how's Gareth? Oh, he's well, thank you. Yeah, yeah he's We've actually not seen him in the while. middle of rehearsals for Footloose. Yeah. At oh, all. okay, okay. So, God, so how's he feeling now? Because this is like tables turn. Suddenly you're going to be walking down oh, the red he's, carpet. He is there. He's going to oh. be there. He's going to be on my arm. Yeah. yeah. He's got Gareth. I've got my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Will you tell him we said hello? Yes, yeah, my love, won't you? Well done, right. both of you. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Fantastic. Nice. Seven thirty.